Hey guys, a quick video to show you uh, an addition to Forager setup, a rudder or tiller lock system. Quite a few times I felt the need to let go of the tiller and have it stay in the exact same position. Uh, unfortunately it doesn't, obviously, it just swings straight away, uh, points to wind usually. Um, I mean, if I want to go forward to adjust lazy jacks or if I just want to sit in the mid seat and paddle, this is quite handy. Um, so I, I have added this tiller lock. I mean, there's nothing revolutionary about this. I got this idea from watching Roger Barnes's uh, videos. I couldn't find a video where he explains how it works, but um, I don't know if he has done one or not. But from watching his videos, I believe it's got to be something similar to this. So not my creation, uh, just my interpretation of some, someone else's idea. Obviously, I don't want this on top of the tiller. This will all go underneath. But for these video purposes, it's easier for you guys to see if I have all it assembled in, um, on the top instead of the under the tiller. There's really not much to it. Just have a piece of rope here that goes through this eyeball and the hook and as I pull this string tight the tighter you I pull it the more friction it creates on this eye bolt It's quite tight at the moment. You guys can't see in the video, obviously, but believe me, it's quite tight. This, this won't go anywhere. It's still enough that you can uh, use the rudder if you have to. From this end, it's very, very hard to move the rudder, which is what you want. While here, it's much easier. And this is the reason why I've put the system here and not back here, because I have a much bigger leverage than if it was here, in relation to the fulcrum and the rudder. Obviously, I don't plan to use this on strong winds. Um, that would probably <laughs> not be very smart. Um, I'm not gonna let go of the tiller on anything like over five or six knots. Um, I don't think that would be wise. So if I want to then work the tiller without all this friction, just let go. This now has almost zero friction, it's negligible, uh, you can't really feel it. If I don't want this on at all, if you really want to get rid of all this, just remove the clip, or in this case it's a hook, it can be a carabiner, I think the hook is um, it's easier. And the tiller is now loose. Remember, this will be underneath, so all this rope will be just on the seat. If you think it's just enough to have the hook here, but just slack enough, be careful, do not let this rope be long enough so that the hook gets all the way to there. Because this way, you're gonna get a lot of friction. It almost locks your um, rudder. So, make sure to have a piece of rope just enough that the hook is at least a couple of inches away from the dead eye. I have opted for a, a true bolt or a, an eye bolt, whatever it's called, but I'm sure we could use one of these as well. Uh, that would do just fine. If anything, you'll have to pull it tighter or use a thicker rope to create more um, friction here. If I had a choice, I would not use one of these open clamp cleats. I would use one like the one I've got on um, this side. But that's all I have now, so that's staying for now. It seems to be quite accurate. Wherever you let go of it, it will stay. There is no slack in there at all. It's 
So now let's take it apart and install it under. And that's what it looks like when it's underneath. Now I need to go home and cut these two sides because I had cut this one. I was planning to bury the nut in the wood, but I've got these little nuts. And if one of them stays here, no harm done, um, it's better than digging in the wood now. Now I need to test it on the water. Guys, this brother system is awesome. I can't even put my socks on. <laughs> Right guys, the tiller lock is in place and it's not really tight, it's just uh, adjusted and I can actually steer the boat just with my weight. That way. Or that way. Awesome. The tiller doesn't move. And this is as relaxed as I ever been on my Goat Island skiff. Forager is smiling. <laughs> that also means I have to be careful when I go forward. Because if the boat heals too much, it will cause it to veer off course and that might be a problem with the sail. Oh, look at that, guys. I can reach the camera. Uh, yes, for the first time. <laughs> no stress. Right, let, let's have a look at the tiller.
and someday I'm gonna get one of them and gonna sail, I don't know where, just gonna sail. <laughs>